President Obama is writing the first chapter in his post-presidential legacy. I was born in Kenya. No, that's a joke. In the city where he came to public prominence, his new foundation is holding its first summit before the first brick has been laid on the Barack Obama Presidential mm -hmm. Library. This is a big brainstorming session. This is a big hackathon. This is an experiment in us trying to have a, 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 a collective conversation. Its mission, to offer the first digital U.S. presidential library and an incubator for progressive leaders. He sees his impact as a private citizen as potentially being much bigger than when he was president. It is really going to be what he describes as a dynamic space for civic engagement. So there will be classrooms, there will be athletic facilities. If it's like other presidential foundations, there will also be an effort to burnish the legacy of the former commander-in-chief. The Nixon Library has been criticized for whitewashing Watergate, the Reagan Library for bloated excess, and the Clinton Foundation for lining up lucrative speeches and raising a staggering $2 billion from sometimes controversial foreign sources. The Presidential Libraries Act was passed in 1955 after President Truman retired nearly penniless. But recently, the foundations that host these libraries have been criticized for creating monuments to partisanship, cash cows that line up lucrative speaking fees and lure donations from controversial countries. As President Obama holds his first summit here in Chicago, his foundation says it aspires to do something more that's supposed to spur economic development on the south side of Chicago. It's supposed to solve problems of the world uh, by bringing together both uh, leaders and uh, people who would like to learn community organizing. Foundations have raised money for laudable causes. Jimmy Carter for peace initiatives and the Clintons for 3,500 projects in 180 countries. They've saved, by, by I think fair-minded estimates, um, tens of thousands, if not maybe even millions of lives through public health uh, interventions in, in Africa and elsewhere. Um, but sure, uh, some of the sources of funds, I think, were, um, you know, tainted. With its debut event, the Obama Foundation is aiming for historical impact without the anything-goes reputation. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.